All right, let's take a quick look at updating firmware for uh, EV Lab. And in fact, when you update firmware, uh, it actually updates not just the firmware, but any patterns that are pre-stored. So it's a good way to get new patterns that have been released as, as well as uh, any feature uh, and function upgrades that we provide over time for AV Lab. The process is really simple. In fact, it's plugged in here still to the TV. We don't need that. We'll just get rid of it for now. Uh, HDMI cable. So the only thing we have is the computer plugged into AV Lab on USB. And if you're plugged in in normal mode, it's how we communicate from the software to uh, AV Lab. So what we're going to do is upgrade the firmware. First thing we're going to do is go to the DVDO website and download the new firmware. And uh, let me pop over here. I've done that. And I've downloaded it. And I get this file, AV Lab firmware with a version number, a date with a .sii extension. So that's what we're looking for. That's the file we want to know where it is. And in fact, I've downloaded it and put it in a known location. Now we need to put AV Lab into firmware upgrade mode. So the easiest way is start with the USB unplugged. And you'll notice there's nothing else plugged into AV Lab. There's no power connection. There's no HDMI connection. So it's important that nothing else is plugged in. And you'll notice on the side, there's a little button that says a recessed button that says firmware update. So I want to set that on a table, right, to where uh, I can get to it. And I want to hold that firmware update button in with uh, a pen. And then I want to, while I'm doing that, I want to plug in the USB connector. You'll hear it connect to the computer and a very interesting thing happens. All three of the lights on AV Lab come on. So you'll see all three on that tells me I'm in a special mode as opposed to just normal operation mode where you would just see the green light or red or blue, perhaps if you've got something plugged into the input. That's the first thing that happens. And then over here on the computer, you'll notice that all of a sudden I've got this new thing, looks like a, a flash drive that's been plugged in with the name of AV Lab TPG. Hey, that's great. Open folder to view files or navigate to it. And in fact, you'll see we're now looking at AV Lab as if it's a storage device, a flash stick or a, a hard drive. So it's already got a file in there. And what we're going to do is just replace that file. So here we go. We're going to take that file. We're going to delete it or move it to your desktop. If you want to keep it, that is in fact the old firmware. And we're going to take the new firmware file, that .sii extension and do a copy. I hit there control C, but you can drag it in if you'd prefer. And I go here and do control V for paste. It'll say I'm copying it when it gets through. You'll hear the computer disconnect. Now you'll notice if we go back to live that we're still in that firmware upgrade mode. So what you need to do is repower uh, the device. So unplug USB, plug it back in. You'll notice now just the green light comes on. And in fact, if I connect it to my TV, that I'll also get a video signal out to the TV. So that tells me that my firmware has been upgraded. Uh, that tells me that uh, any new features or functions that I've uh, asked for are now here. We do recommend you doing one more thing, uh, and that's doing a full reset. So once you've upgraded firmware, let's do a full reset. Let's unplug the, uh, any inputs or outputs. We'll unplug USB. We'll hold down both the pattern and the resolution buttons together. And while we do that, plug in USB. And give it just a second, release both buttons. So what that does is it resets everything in the test pattern generator to factory defaults. All the resolution, all of the pattern uh, stores, uh, everything gets reset to, to work properly with the new firmware. So we, we do suggest you do that.